Hey guys, I'm not sure if I've talked about this before in the past, but I just came across this and I think I've already talked to you guys about it. But if I haven't, I don't care. I'm going to make this video anyway. So, you know, in Casa OS, when you go to the app store and you have all of these apps, you know, I just realized you can come over here and get more applications from another store. So you can add more stores. So what I have done here is that I was able to add the Linux IO server, uh, basically app store inside of the Casa OS store. Uh, you guys get it. Okay. So I'm going to delete it. You can see here that actually, you know what, before I delete that, let me scroll a little and I'm going to show you like, see here beats from Linux server IO and also code server. You have Chromium, you have Caligra over here and also Deluge. So if I look for Deluge, Give me one second. Let's look for, I'm going to zoom in for you guys. Hold on. Deluge. You see, I have two. I have the one from the Casa OS main store. And I also have the one from Linux server IO. So if you look for beats, you'll see that only beats exist from the Linux server IO. So this does not mean that I couldn't install beats if I actually wanted to. I would still be able to because you can do custom installs. But if you wanted to do a one-click install, you have the possibility of adding third-party app stores and be able to do your one-click as if you would, uh, as if it was like another native Casa OS app. So uh, app store uh, app, basically. So I'm going to delete this. And you see, no more beats here. If I wanted to install beats, I would basically have to download it from uh i would have to get the the docker compose for beats and then basically import it do a custom install blah 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 that should also work or just go to the command line and do it directly on the docker compose with the yaml file so here is what we do you go to more apps you enter the application if you had the url now let me close out here Give me one second. You click on the, actually, give, let me let me see here. Let me close this. So App Store, more apps. We click on the question mark. Boom. I'm going to zoom in for you guys here. And you guys can see that we have multiple other app stores. Some of them I trust. Some of them I'm not sure. But, you know, it's up to you guys to uh, look at this and uh, make a very security-minded and critical judgment. But... For me, I'm going to go with the Linux server IO since I already know that. Um, is it a vetted store? I don't know. They do say here that please not castles allow you to explore and install apps from this third party at your own discretion. So I think they mean at your own risk and peril because, of course, content, security, functionality, blah, blah, blah. It's up to you guys to, if you don't know, uh, you can always look at the GitHub repo and see what's inside. Now, for our use case, we're just going to go back, App Store, over here, going to paste in the link, and boom. All right, now we should have Linux Server I.O. If I go back to Linux Server I.O. and look for, well, the search and look for Beats, see, it's back there. Now, if I want to install it, click one install, Bada bin, give it one second. And there it is. Bits is installed, as you guys can see. So it's super easy, super simple. Casa OS is the way to go. Now, this was a quick video because I haven't been making a lot of content. So if you guys made it all the way here, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like this video, share everything you can do is appreciated. Thank you guys for being here. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye.